Hello everybody and welcome to another Train Sim World 3 video. We are at Lynchfield Trent Valley on the Birmingham Cross City line. As you can see here. Can we go on the upper level? That's what I want to know. Can we go up there? Oh, we can go up to the upper level. Oh no, that's the level we're supposed to be on, aren't it? Is this level? Yeah, this is the level we're supposed to be at, isn't it? So, I'd, why does it start us off on the lower level for? It's not like we're going to see any trains come across here, is it? I oh, don't say you got objectives down here. What we're doing is we're doing something different this time. We're looking at the stations first. Because I want to be surprised by the stations. Oh, come on. That's fucking lazy, isn't it? You could put... You can put the station's name on there. If you're going to allow us to walk around here, put the fucking station name on there. Come on, that's just fucking lazy. Look, you've got platforms 2 and 3, way out and ticket machines. If you're going to start us down here, put the fucking name on. You have here, Lynchfield Trent Valley, so why is it not down there? You can't put on one and then not put on the other. That's just fucking stupid. You see, look. That's all right. See, most people wouldn't think about looking down here because there aren't no actual trains coming along here. Although, a few AI trains, I keep saying, do AI. All you're doing is the basic shell. And then it won't look so empty and deserted. It's a big problem, and I'm pretty sure it's a big problem when we get to Birmingham, which I am safe and for last, by the way. When we get to Birmingham, I'm betting you it's going to be feel empty and deserted. And then you put a couple of AI trains in there. Don't know why I'm looking both ways. There's no trains. There are no, no trains. Please don't do this in real life. Because you shouldn't trespass on the tracks. Oh, pressed the wrong button there, didn't I? Yeah, Birmingham's going to look, and it's the same with Glasgow on the um, Cathcart line. That's nice. Oh, I was just talking about Glasgow. <laughs> it, look, it looks empty and deserted because you don't have any other trains there. It would be nice if, you know, you could do some AI trains. Okay, what's he doing there? You might, you might want to come around here, mate. Or are you having a piss? And again, oh no, that one's there, okay. I apologise, that one is actually there. Just got to make sure there's no uh, collectibles anywhere. Oh, oh no, that one is there. I thought that was the sun there. That's just, just the sun blocking it, wasn't it? It's, looks like there's some construction somewhere. Yeah, reason I'm looking along here first this time is because I don't want to. Okay, is there an actual fence there to uh, get into the car park? That don't seem right. Don't think that's the car station car park, is it? So yeah, they've missing fe fence there, DDG. So. Two mistakes so far. Not a good start, is it? Birmingham Station is a station I know quite well. I've been there quite a few times, so I'm actually going. We're going to save that one till last. 
So this is only... I didn't know this about this station. It's only a... Oh, it's quite busy here. One station... One platform station. I don't think I've... I've actually managed to... Uh, here comes the train. Oh yeah. It's five minutes early. So they're gonna sit here for five minutes. I didn't realise it was just a one platform uh station. Mate, that hat really doesn't go with the trench coat and the suit. You look like a pillock. Caps don't go with suits and trench coats. Uh, yeah. So that's three mistakes I've noticed. Do they not check? I mean, I know the train's di the train's not copy and paste, but basically the route is practically copy and paste, isn't it? Come on. They've just taken another train from Train Sim Classic instead of getting making a brand new route. I mean, okay, this is in TS Classic. Okay, let's do I don't know, let's do Birmingham to Derby. You know? That would have been a good one to do. At least then we'd got two trains. The Turbo Star, class one seventy, was not in TSW yet. And the uh, 222 cross country well, all three of them cross country all two of them cross country you can even add the HST cross country as well although that might be a bit too much work for DDG I do like the model of the train and they I think I read somewhere that the train isn't a copy from the one in TS Classic but the route is with the exception of University uh, train station which they've done to the what it will look like when it's finished in December of this year I think it is they're having some work done so they've done it so how it would look once the work's finished which is cool because then the station's not outdated so I'll give them props for that that's a good thing to do well done DDG oh is that over He's going to Bronze Groove. Are you leaving already? He's closed his doors, but he's. You leaving? Okay, I'm sure he's going to reopen them soon. There's people in there. Oh, look, he's reopening them there. I don't understand. Another people get. I don't understand why they do that. It's got to be something with the programming or something, I'm sure. I'm sure DDG will come up with some excuse. We will look at the train when we do the... Um, we will look at the train when we um, do on it. I'm trying to look for a route map. I can't find a route map on this station. How can you... There not be a route map on this station. Or City Line Bombs Groove Class 323. Yeah, we'll look at the train when we do the uh, training scenario on the train. Oh, that. Oh, wow. That's a different kind of map. Okay. Nice. I'll give them that. That's something different from what they normally do. And you can see the faint lines of the other tracks as well. Virgin trains. Um it's not called Virgin Trains anymore. It's Avante. Avante, Avante, whatever you want to call it. It's 
See, I was looking for the big maps that you get, but I weren't expecting this. But this is good. I like it. Well done. Does this mean maybe we'll get some of these other routes in? Burning them to regularly Trent Valley? Because that's a circle line, isn't it? You got there to Trent, you come down this way, on that way. You go back along up there, and you go up this way. So that, maybe that would be like an extension to this route? Which would be cool. Another extension to the route could be from Birmingham oh, from Wolverhampton into Birmingham down to Coventry or Leamington Spa. That would be a cool extension as well. Although the one I want to see is from Birmingham New Street up here to Tamworth, to Burton-on-Trent and up to Derby. I didn't know there was fair zones around here. I thought that was a London thing. Hmm. That's something you learn there every day. Well, we are up here in Lynchfield, Trent Valley we're going to go and have a look at let's try and think where we're going to go we'll have a look at Fort Oaks look at Aston oh, that's Burning the Mall Street down there isn't it we'll have a look at Redditch Bongrove Bourneville University and then Birmingham New Street. Be nice if we have the other Birmingham stations as well Snow Hill and Moore Street. You can do to this station here when you've got the two divides come each side up here. And then down this way to a station here. Maybe I don't know. Let's go. Let's go over to. Is it Four Oaks next? Actually, no. Let's go to Sutton Cofield. Let's go to Sutton Cofield. So here we are at uh, Sutton Coalfields. Oh, look, that's that state. That's train stops at Four Oaks. That's where they finish. So they're not going as far as Lynchfield, Trent Valley. They're just going to Four Oaks. I didn't know they terminated there. There you go. I learn something new every day. Looks like a nice station, actually. Station looks familiar. I don't think I've ever been here, but it does. It does look familiar for some reason. Okay, you can't go all the way to the lifts. It would be nice if you could actually use the lifts. That would be. Um, that would be pretty cool. So you can get the lift to platform two. The lift buttons don't work. <laughs> yeah, it'd be actually quite a cool feature, really. I don't know why it allows you, they've allowed you to come all this way when you can't actually use the lift. They might as well just block it off here, isn't it? You got there. You actually see people walking on there as well. Come down this way. So, 
actually there's no there's no way for us to get over you have to go up the stairs uh, over the tracks to get across you can actually go all the way around here as well that's quite unrestrictive you don't normally get to do that on a TDG route That would actually make a good, um, for trains that have bike racks, that would actually make a good um, collectibles. If when you go to the bike rack, a few bikes pop up. It would be something different, wouldn't it? Oh, there is a ramp there. Okay, I went straight past it, didn't I? Oh, so you can't get over this station, okay. So why can't we go through this bit to get onto that bit of the platform? Why is that bit blocked off then? Why can we go all the way down there? But we can't go across there. That again is fucking stupid. Which is probably one of my favourite words I say the most when talking about DTG routes. Whether it's on Trains in Classic or Trains in World. That is fucking stupid. I'm going to actually check all the fucking signs as well. See if there's any more mistakes. I'll check every one now. There's nothing down here on that side either, is there? No. So let's cross over to the other side. Forgot I can't get that. It's fucking stupid, isn't it? No more along there. I've done the fat flower pot thing. Oh, actually, up here in the ticket office, and they put the like time. You can't actually go across there to actually. We can have a look there to see the timetables. It's pretty cool. Can't go out, obviously. You've got the uh, position closed there, the ticket office there. It's no cycling, of course. And cross over to platform. Boop. Can't go down the lift, obviously. Be nice if we could. There's another entrance there, side entrance there. Brown Grove, Redditch, and then Brown Grove. So yeah, the station looks alright. There aren't any. Another map there. I just sparks it up the big. Uh, the, uh, the big one you're used to, are they? So I have Mjoln in there. I'm not sure what other collectibles there are. At the moment, we've only seen the maps and the uh, plants. Which are they actually there for in real life? I'm I'm not sure. So these plant things over here, are they actually in the real life? Because the ones in Scotland, those ones that look like trains, they are actually up there, I believe. They're actually really there. But I don't know about these uh, the bulls. I don't know if they're actually here or not. Yes, someone let me know in the uh, comments below. Right, where are we off to next? Don Trent Valley, we're at Sutton Coalfield. So let's go down to Redditch. So here we are at Redditch. See the wonderful graffiti on the wall. So I don't know where these lot have just come from. It's like they've just walked through the fucking wall. Another mistake there. So this is a terminal platform. Terminal station, sorry. It's the only one platform. Really? Does that got to be over there? Yeah. 
Sure, you know, that could be somewhere here or there. Over there. Why put it all the way there? Here comes a train. The scenario starts here as well. Red, red wine. Very clever. Oh, look, there's a teddy bear there. Is that collectible? Oh, look at that. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> He's put like I Viz on him and a tag there. Can't, can't see if there's a name there. That's different. Something bear. Can't quite work out what that is, but yeah, that that's quite cool, clever. No, better on the station. Right, I can hear a plane, but I can't see a plane. Like what the fuck? If you're going to put plane noises here, at least put a plane on. Put a plane in. Fuck's sake. Yeah, it seems like a nice little platform. Nice little station here. Never been here before. This one's called Errington. Errington? I'd probably butchering that straight away, so I do apologise. Get another map there. I think that's it. Oh, you got the uh, ticket office on each side. Can't go any further than that. That's alright. It's not a problem. You, oh, you can see the. Uh, out, out the way! Move! Oi, move! You stupid people. He's just fucking pushing me out the way. Come on. All so fucking rude, aren't they? Oh, now they go. Now that the doors are closing, now you decide to move along. Idiots. I know, I'm getting mad about NC NPCs. The train's closed the door and now he's going to reopen them again to let the new passengers in and other passengers will then get off as well. It don't make sense how they do that. Why, why DDG does it like that? In real life, which, you know, this is supposed to be the most realist simulus, simulation ever, You, the train pulls in, he opens his doors, and he leaves his doors open until he leaves, until he's ready to leave again. So this is uh, Bromsgrove. So it's uh, three platforms here. Burnham and Cross City route introduction, which we will, we will do after this. So no trains on this side. And you got trains that terminate here. Oh yeah, of course you do. Yeah, Brom How can a train be going to Bromsgrove if we're already at Bromsgrove? That don't make any sense. Surely it should be saying terminates here. That's another um, DDG mistake. So where, where is it going to have any stops? <laughs> so the next train is to Bosgrove at 1325. This service terminates here. Okay, at least they got that right. At least they didn't say next station is Bromsgrove. But really, that bit where it says Bromsgrove, it should say terminate. This train terminates here, shouldn't it? Like see, the third train terminates here. That's what it should say out there. Terminates here. So it's another fuck up by DTG. So what the fuck? Because that's what we say now when DTG fucks up. Oh look, there's a map there. 
This is step three access, which we can't access, despite not having any legs. We just float along and make step noises. Not sure what these things are though, what they're meant to be. Can anyone let me know what these are meant to be please in the comments below? Mm, again, hear a plane, don't see a plane. I mean, how hard is it to put a plane in? You've done it before. On the Gatwick Express you see the planes fly over. And not just the ones that land, you see them flying over other places. And you do on the uh, one of the German routes as well. So why can't you do that over here too? Oh no, it's four platforms. There is a... Well, funny, I didn't see that from over there. I like the weathered look on the tannoys there. That's good attention to detail. So, you know, credit where credit is due. That is nice. The, plat the stations have, apart from the mistakes I've pointed out, do look okay. So there's no trains on either of these platforms. See, so there's AI trains. You'll be able to fill these destination boards out and it won't look stupid. We still can't sit down. Should we have to sit down? Oh, it's TSW3. It's the full iteration of this game. And yes, I can count because you had TSW1 TSW 2020, then TSW 2 and TSW 3. So that's four iterations of the game. And there's a step free access on this side. And which that takes you out as well. No teddy bears on this. See the place to put a post in it. I go any further than that, and of course, then that takes you down. So, so no teddy bears or anything. So we're going to go to university, and then we're going to go to Birmingham New Street, and that's the one because that's the station I do know. I know Birmingham New Street, so I know, you know, if they're going to back up on it. So let's go have a look at them. And here we are at Aston. I forgot to say, we've also got Aston and Bournefield to go to as well, haven't we? So this is Aston. Uh, quite nice. Can't wait to actually run the route. You get off here for Villa Park, apparently. can't see Villa Park anywhere. I like the church. It'd be nice if they can program these people to go round us. Another map added. Got the uh, little waiting area here. I'm not sure if there's a. I don't think that'll be there, really, would it? Uh, you don't really get ticket machines on the platforms. They're normally in the station hall. I've yet to see a ticket 
thing in fact and that would be a really silly place to put it really as well wouldn't it you got your step free access there as well I don't see any more of those teddy bears we can go down here Stop there. Some shops over there. Two lots of fish and chip shops. I don't know who he's bibbing at. God, that's... There's nothing stopping him today. Oh, look. Me being on the path is stopping him from moving for some reason. Uh, that's just pretty fucking stupid, really, isn't it? I'll give that a. What the fuck? Whoa, he's... Um, they seem to be floating there. <laughs> oh, God. And floating trains. Uh, floating cars. I didn't know we had half a car, so look, just in time for the train. <laughs> There's some flowers there. I can't see as to fill a park around here anywhere. Keep your police eyes, but don't see no police car. Got a nice little shelter here. With um, grass coming through. Oh, what the fuck? Makes you wonder if there's actually a quality control person that goes through all this to look out for mistakes. Seeing as this is meant to be the most realistic simulator you can get. Unfortunately, I've not been able to see Aston Villa train, uh, Aston Villa train station, <laughs> Aston Villa stadium from any vantage point on the station. Um, and when you're in first person view like this, you can't really see any other view, can you? So we just have to wait and see. And we'll, we'll actually try drive the route. Church over there. I think that's an incinerator in it for rubbish over there. Yeah, can't really see Aston Villa football now. We'll have to wait until oh, look, there's a canal down there. There's a natural boat as well. Yeah. Right, let's go over to Bourneville. So this is Bourneville. We've got a train just waiting there for some reason. Oh, now it's going. I seem to chase it off, didn't I? <laughs> Gotta say, it's looking better than its TS Classic counterpart. shame you can't like push the door open or just click the door open like you would on a train when going through between carriages and be able to get into the waiting room that would be you know that's something that they should really do if they're going to put it you know if you can do it on a train then why not do it on the thing on the waiting room Still can't sit down on benches or chairs, which sucks.
stuff like that easily sort of sorted out I'm sure this side because I want to try something <laughs> dairy milk chocolate bars oh wow that's cool Now is that everywhere, or just here? I've got to see, see what the number said. That's acceptable. See, now that's acceptable because it's coming through the bars. What's not acceptable is it coming? Oh, no, that's all right. You got a leaf falling off there. That's fine. What's not acceptable is when they're coming through, you know, the roof of the waiting room or the floor. So we can come up here, can't cross the road, but we can stay on this side. Nice the traffic this time as well. They seem to stop traffic if you're too in. I'm not on the road you pillock. I like this bit because you go over the uh, canal as well, don't you? Which is cool. Got a little design on the bridge there as well. I'm sure that wouldn't be open, would it? I'm sure there should be a fence there. We've got our flowers there. Let's look out for dairy milk chocolates now. Let's just stay and see if there's any up anywhere else. So for people that don't know, this is where your hat suits the station, mate. But it doesn't suit your trench coat and suit. Look, there's your twin thinking he's gangster putting his cap on backwards. Let's go to Cosgrove, which I don't think we've been to Cosgrove yet, have we? No, I don't think we have. So that'll probably be the next one next. Before we see University in New Street. any further than that. See now on other platforms you can go at least up to the other doors and these ones you can't. Okay. No chocolates around here is there? No, no chocolate. Oh, oh look there's some more chocolates. Two out of twenty. Oh there's twenty-five. Okay so when you go near one you get a chocolate pop on top. A little bit of cat. Hello. Oh, he's moving. Oh, hello. Hello, little pretty cat. <laughs> Cindy. Oh, it's got a name with a little, like, like a train cat tag and a little DDG collar. Oh, 
poor you having to wear a DDG collar. But that is really cool. Credit where credit is due. That is really, really cool. In fact, that the cat's moving as well. Shame there's not a, uh, it's not meowing or anything, but yeah, that's a really nice touch. Shame that that's not collectible as well when you go past it. One of, one of how many cats found. If there is more than one, this might just be the only one. I've not seen any on the other stations that we've been through. So we'll have to keep an eye out on that as well. That's really cool. Let's go over to Bromsgrove because we didn't really go there, did we? So here we are at University. And this is the new university because it's been redone or it's at the process of being redone I'm not sure whether it's actually finished or not I think it's scheduled to be finished in December of this year or maybe December next year, I don't know I'm sure there won't be a little gap there as well so what the fuck there should be a little panel of fence there I was actually seeing if there was a teddy bear down here, but where's it gone? Oh, there it is. A box of chocolates. You see, it's full up, and you see one go missing there. And it's gone now. It's they're all straight now. It's got folded because one's come out. So I was looking to see if that teddy bear was maybe around here, like on the the other one when we found the other teddy bear, but we found chocolate instead. So there is chocolates around. Not just where well, we found the first two. So that's useful to know. Hey up. Quite different really these, because you don't really see it's quite long that this car stop sign here, isn't it? Normally it's just that six would be just over there instead. Just right next to the post. Not sticking out as long as this. The car park there. But it looks like a nice station. Make sure this. Doesn't have any of the other logos like the other uh, stations have. Before we go that way, we'll have. Oh no, there are stairs over there, so that's right. Oh, we can't get through here. Oh, that's a shame. It'd be sh See, now, it, it would be nice if we can go through the barrier and just go so we can go over to the waiting room area. I'm like, what the fuck? I mean, there is a bridge overpass there, isn't there? So nice, you can go through it, up the stairs, across there, and down this way. So why, why haven't they done that? Like, what the fuck, DDG? Station overall does look nice. Lift that way. Here's the lift that we can't use. It's out of service. Again, have they put the brickwork too far back here? Or maybe this panel here should be further back this way? Again, another mistake. Another exit there. It's fine that we can't go through there, that's just fine. Because you don't really need to, really, do you? Let's go down here. Okay, 
guessing you can't get through this way either. Oh, look, there's some papers over there. It used to be the old collectibles, weren't it? The papers. Can't get through there. Do you know what, though? We've seen over there on the way through, didn't we? And there was nothing over there, so... Let's actually get the train. Let's have a look at the train as well. Any posters that used to be in. The signs on. Still, look, none of these. They should have advertisement on here. I mean, you could advertise your own products on here if you wanted. Like, you can advertise other routes, like posters for other routes on the different sides and for. Um, um, here and here as well. For TSW3 or any other DDG games like Train Sim Classic. Welcome aboard this service to Fort Oaks. It's not going to Fort Oaks, it's going to Birmingham. The next station is Five Oaks. Oh, yeah, Fort Oaks is the other side, isn't it? Okay, so my apologies. Got busy, isn't it? Yeah, I've been at it. The train looks alright. You don't really get any ambient sounds on the train though, do you? Toilets are not working. <laughs> Power service. You don't hear anyone chatting or talking. These should be fold outs. You should be able to unfold these. So you can sit down. But you can't. Again, no problem. Just make sure we can't open the doors when the train's moving. Nice to have the safety information up there. But yeah, other than that, the train looks alright to me. Let's have a seat here. So that, oh, empty seat here. And it stops glitching. See now, why can't I sit down? I need to move away from the seat to be able to sit down. That's just fucking stupid. What the fuck? And we'll see. Oh, we've got a fucking pitch over there. I'll see you guys when we get to Birmingham. And. Here we are pulling into Birmingham New Street. Pick it up. This is a station I know very, very well. This side or this side? Yeah, I'm on this side. You can see the buttons being moved in. And it's as I feared, it looks empty. And it shouldn't look empty, should it? Like I said, this is why you need AI trains only. You don't need to do the detail of inside or in the cab, just a shell. It's a decent shell to make it look good. For the trains coming in and out of the like, busy stations, like this station, like Glasgow Queen Street. Glasgow Queen Street? Glasgow, whatever it's called. Right, the door opened automatically, I didn't even press it. Did you press it? I wanted to press it. So. Other than that, it looks... You know, first impressions, it's looking nice. It's just looking empty. I've never actually been across this one quite before. Okay, and if one of the problems about having AI, AI trains is they'll have to put a bit more work on 
we know how DDG feels about work. That brightness thing is a real pain in the arse because you turn around and it looks foggy. Let's go have a look at the uh, ticket hall and the main area. Stairs here, where's this going to? This leads up here, doesn't it? Oh, for fuck. What the fuck? See, again, laziness. What? You could have put some of the shops in. You didn't have to get to actually name the actual names of the shops. You could just put the... Like, instead of having Costa Coffee, you could have... Call it something else. Instead of having... You know, Subway or whatever, or WX Smiths, call it something else. It adds to that realism. When you don't do it, it just pisses me off. Fucking like wankers. I know that's not there in real life. That's for fucking sure. Escalator. Fuck me, the escalators are working. Okay, I say they're working, but they don't actually move you if you go. What's the point of having fucking escalators working if they're not going to actually move you? What the fuck? Fuck's sake. If you're gonna do it, do it properly. That shouldn't be saying burning a new street. It should be saying terminates here. Apparently the next train on this platform isn't until 1943 either. Oh yeah. That train's off off on its way out. get to all the platforms on here. Is every platform accessible? Because we know on some roads not every platform is accessible, but... Okay, this one for the Redditch on this side. But there are collectibles on non... I think that's where it'll be crossing over to the other side, won't it? Don't know what's happening there because there's uh, no destination there. Again, what the fuck? Again, it's plate laziness on DDG's part for not checking these things out. these little details that piss people off because you're not doing it properly chocolate bars in there, all, all those teddy things.
I'm going to leave it here and I'll see you for the route introduction and a look at the train, the train introduction in the next episode. Goodbye for now, take care and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and hit that bell notification to keep up to date with all future content and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye for now.